What have you boob? It's your boy GTG and welcome back to another helpful videos. So um first of all I wanna just say I'm sorry for not putting out that much videos in April, but like I said, I actually have a job, so sometimes I have to work a bit more than what I really should do. I just wanna play computer games and Minecraft. But um since um if you've seen a couple a couple of weeks ago, I did a video about upgrading my software. Now that was just an absolutely stupid, stupid build, guys. So um after doing some research and I, I kept asking in the forums, literally all I want to play is Minecraft, we have no problems. People were giving suggestions, but I was like, okay then, um let me do some research myself. Now after doing some research myself, it took about a week, I found this awesome, amazing website, which the link I will put in the video below guys so in the description so you can take a look at this self uh, take a look at this for yourself I should say now this is important if you're thinking of upgrading your uh, computer you know for either if you do videos like what I do for the you know fun of it uh, you do a bit of rendering then you also need to look at what you're actually going to use it for if you have no intention of doing you know videos um if you don't want to be like a geek like me <laughs> um or if you have intention of just you know you just want to have a, a decent level of fps play all the snapshots and not have any problem then i guess you should take a look at this if you already know about this or if you have already got a, a boss of a pc build um then it's okay. So as you all know, at the moment I've got the AMD kind of build. So I've got um, uh, basically the six-core um, 10980T uh, Black Edition. So it's pretty good, it's clocked at 3.4, and I've got the 7870 um, basically graphics card, which, by the way. It, it runs decent. This 7870 is freaking awesome, guys. I've got a lot of power and performance out of this. I, I, I didn't actually think I would be able to do. Uh, so I want to thank uh, Moving Target Tez for helping me with that. So now, the most important kind of thing here is it tells you about third part uh, applications like Optifine. Now, you all guys know I use Optifine quite a lot um because it just helps optimize the world loading and lags and stuff like that but for you guys that are going to use snapshots you can't use optifine so you need to have a good build and a good cpu for this now after doing a lot of research um into minecraft um some of you guys might say i don't know what i'm talking about some of you might say actually it's kind of true um but basically from from what i've read minecraft uses one core um but basically um so you when you're looking at cpu you need to look at cpu that um has the best one one core performance or single thread performance basically okay but now 1.8 is upgraded to multi-threading now i don't understand too much about multi-threading because like i said i'm not a pc tech guy that's why my mate build my pc i just know about minecraft <laughs> okay so um but it tells you some little stuff here about benchmarks and kind of stuff and this is exactly, this is fantastic. Now you have 1.8 here, you got 1.8, the main thing to have a look here is the resolution. So you need to think of your monitor resolution, at the moment I run Minecraft through my TV. So I've got a HDMI cable from my uh, PC to my TV. I'm a noob guys, I'm sorry! <laughs> but uh, for you guys that are a monitor, then I guess you need to try and have a look at the monitor size kind of build and see what you want to get from Minecraft basically. But um, the build that I would need to kind of look at is at the moment I'm on Windows 7 and I'm on 64 bit so uh, as you can see I've got i5 build here uh, which is fantastic but then look at the the i7 4770 4770k guys clocked at only 3.5 so 1 gigahertz faster than mine but look at the jump now the reason I want to show you this is that the single thread performance for the i7 uh, and also the uh, i7 for uh, 90k is absolutely insane so at the moment from the research i've done for about a week now the 4790k is the best cpu single thread performance out there that i could find i'm saying what i can find guys so i'm not trying to start a war between amd or intel because i like amd over intel because i, I think that intel are uh, ignorant with the prices and basically um, same for NV NVIDIA because they're just freaking ignorant with the prices even though they have fantastic stuff 
I'm a cheapskate, I'd rather go with AMD. <laughs> but this time, I'm going to have to go with Intel because I'm building this solely because of Minecraft. So I don't care about AMD or Intel in that kind of sense. I'm just building something for Minecraft. So I just want the best performance for Minecraft and that's it. So I don't want to start a war like saying I've got this, I've got that. Intel is better than this, AMD is better than that. This is not what this video is about basically. This is just trying to help you guys decide you know, what to find. Um, so like, let's like say here, uh, AMD build here. So um, still with the GTX 70, 4 gigs um, of RAM. Um, as you can see here still decent amount and it's going to be a lot cheaper basically and it tells you like little stuff here as well so check this out and also it says plays with shaders above 60 so if you like to use shaders then you should consider this what I'm talking about now a lot of guys have got the 4 um, 690 which is also another fantastic um, CPU for single thing, single threading for Minecraft. So um, after doing the research again, guys, like I said, Minecraft is runs from a single core and it's insane. But this this is the daddy, guys, right here. So the i7 4790K clocked at four gigs, which you can overclock it to up to 4.67. Uh, it depends on the look of the chip by what I've been researching, and also it runs at a turbo at 4.4. But it's four cores. Now that's the only thing that's putting me off that at the moment because I have six cores. So if I'm using like XSplit, what I used to record, which runs off the CPU and then my graphics card and the RAM and everything, I don't have loads of tabs open. But from reviewing and looked at everything, and I've asked people that's actually got this who are in the gaming industry who does like YouTube videos and stuff like that, and they all said that this is the cream of the crop, guys. So this is what I'm going to go with. And at the moment, this has got like two gig, like what I've got. But as you can see here, it's consistent in the single core threading performance now maybe i'm pronouncing that wrong what i need to say but like i said i'm not a pc tech guys um i'm not an expert i've just been doing some research because i'm thinking of upgrading um i will also put another link in the description below about a guy referring to someone asking how much memory they need to have if they want to use a higher resolution of resource pack and it completely makes sense whether or not it's true or not like i said i'm not an expert read it for yourself try it yourself but once reading it you know it makes sense so i want at least a four gig or eight gig i want between four and eight gig um memory for my graphics card I won't settle for anything less. That's what I need to have. Now, I was going to get the um, AMD um, 295X2, but although it's 8 gig, this the actual um, GPU is still clocked at 4 gig, so it's 2 times 4, basically, which gives you 8. So it's not actually 8 gig, it's cl still clocked at 4. So that was no good for me, because I also play Skyrim as well. So I need that for Skyrim. So this is all this video is about, guys. So... Um, I shouldn't have run on this long because uh, I get a bit excited sometimes but um, hopefully someone finds this useful. If you don't um, then I'm sorry guys but if you do I'm glad that I made this video because um, it, I know I like to you know help people out and I'll, I'll try and give whatever knowledge I find out there um, like I say when it comes to PC and stuff you know it's it, you can get like a lot of stuff behind it even like on this website right now even though I'm looking at all these I'm thinking have they been paid to make all the Intel chips look better than AMD that's actually what's in my mind right now because I'm thinking it's some stats how how, how can we prove that these stats are exactly like this but I don't think they would actually lie to us maybe <laughs> <laughs> I say maybe, but I don't know. Oh my god! Look at this uh, i7 2K, uh 8 gig. Oh my god, 600, uh, 640 at full screen. Freaking hell! This is the G. This is the CPU you want, guys. The for what? The I'll have to research what that is, but Jesus. You're going to be sorted if you get that. I can, I'm assuming that this is going to be expensive as hell. This has to be their latest gen. Maybe an 8 core or something. I'm sure that's an 8 core CPU. Maybe 6 core. Um, but as you can see. Intel chips are the best for playing Minecraft. Even though it's a bit more pricey. If you really, really, really want to play Minecraft. Go with Intel chips. Because the single threading performance is always better. Now AMD though is bringing out a 12 core um, CPU. Things could change guys, but at the moment, Intel are winning 
over AMD if you want to do video recording, higher resource pack resolution, using mods and everything like that. Um, some of you guys are going to have AMD chips with absolutely great performance. Like I've got AMD chips um, performance. Without Optifine, I run about um, somewhere between 150 to about 200. With Optifine, I'm going up to 300, 400 without any mods or, uh, and that's with at least a 32 times 32 resource pack. So you know it's great performance. Um, but as soon as I put mods in and, res and higher resolution resource pack, I think my graphics card is uh, stripping out of me. So. Hopefully um, you find this helpful again, so I'm, I'm going to shut up now, I'm going to go, uh, and I guess I'll see you all soon guys, uh, for more Minecraft videos! <laughs> Alright, peace y'all!